sorry. Okay, okay. I was born in Thomasville, Georgia, but I've lived here most of my life. Um, I've lived a few other places, but very briefly. Well, the big, the, the worst part was that my youngest baby, which is 33, was trapped in the house. There was trees all around the house. He couldn't get out. He couldn't see. It was raining so terrible out here. He couldn't see in front of him. My phone would go in and out, and I didn't know. He tried to make it to me, but when he came out of the yard, the whole streets were full both ways. I'm sorry. And he said, Mom, I don't think I'm going to make it. And so the next morning when we got up, we came, and uh, we saw the damage here. But after feeling like I wasn't ever going to see my son again, this made it where it wasn't quite so bad. Not saying that it's good or anything, but I was thankful that he made it out. I think the first two days I was kind of in shock. I think just mo mostly shock and seeing all the damage. I, the last three days I've cried all the way from where I'm coming from to here. I've cried all the way because it's just seeing what people are going through is just immense. And having these guys come up here to help us with this, I, I can't put into words what it means. I, I can't. It's just a total, total, total godsend. You can't put into words when you're, when you're going through this and somebody comes up and y'all, all these nice boys come up to you and they shake your hand and they, they, we even had some, when they first came, they prayed with us, they asked if they could pray with us. That means everything. And when they come up and they're so willingly, and these they're so kind, and it's like nothing. I mean, they don't, they don't come, they don't judge you. They're just, they're just here to help. And they tell you, we're here to help you. We're here to be a blessing. And, and blessing is an understatement. I don't know a word big enough for what they're doing. I really, really don't.